Hi, I'm Matt with bedremotes.com. Today we're going to show you how to convert an older adjustable bed base where you've either lost or broken a remote, uh, the bed's discontinued, something like that, where they don't make new remotes anymore or they're out of budget to one of our new universal conversion kits. So the basic thing you want to check out before you start any of this, if you zoom in and take a look once you tip your bed up on its side, step one, at the sticker on your head or foot motor, if it's a newer version bed, you'll see that 24 volt DC current, which is important. Some of the older beds used 110 AC, and if one of the wires was damaged, cut, frayed, and somebody touched it, an animal or a human, it could actually electrocute them. So since about 2000, the new standard on all bed bases is to use this low voltage current so that if even if it were plugged in and that were cut and you were to touch it, you're not gonna get electrocuted. So, um, neat feature but you want to make sure you have that our bases will not work with the old standard and it's not safe anyway so we always recommend if you have an older base and something happens to your remote if we can't get a replacement probably just replace it with a new adjustable bed base um, once you get your bed tipped up on its side and we've checked the motor we're going to go ahead and plug in our control box we're going to set aside our two basic units and just show you the deluxe unit today but the principle is exactly the same First off, you wanna make sure that you're plugging this into a surge protector. There's um, at Walmart or Amazon power strips or surge protector power strips. You wanna make sure you get something that has the words protects against surges or surge protector on there. Otherwise, you're not gonna save yourself if you get electrical uh, storm and it does some damage to your box. So once you plug that in, you can go ahead and plug it right into our new converter kit unit. Um, on this new one, you've got your AC DC transformer that plugs into the wall. When you pop that in, you'll see that the green light comes on. Sometimes uh, due to supply chain issues, you'll have a blue light, but uh, it's all the same. And then slide up that cap. Sometimes it's a little stuck, but you just wanna make sure that's open. Look at the bottom of your receiver and you'll see that one of the wires is larger than the other. And that'll just plug right in. You can slide that down to prevent it from pulling out and your light will come on. On the basic units, same principle, but you just slide in your adapter. Um, at this step, we want to make sure that our existing adjustable bed base is unplugged. Um, even though it is low voltage DC current, which you want to be safe and avoid any chance of uh, the spark coming up and hurting anything. And then I just like a uh, basic pair of wire cutters. You can get them on Amazon. I think I paid $5 for this, Walmart, anything. Um, they do have some more advanced ones that work great too. But uh, once we've got that up on its side, uh, this Tempur-Pedic Ergo Premier um, is the base we're looking on. It has a head and a foot motor, and then you'll have three massage motors. Uh, if your motor assembly is built into the control box, then you won't be able to cut the wires in. Again, these conversion kits won't work. So that's another thing that we mentioned on our advertisement. You've got to check the low voltage, and you've got to make sure that your motors actually plug into where we can cut those wires. So we're going to go ahead and just start by cutting a couple. I like to cut about two inches down from uh, each of these units just so that you can still save your cords and just leave them there. And then um, we'll do one of these massage cords just so that we can show you how to plug that in with our advanced unit. If you grab the cords and follow them back, this one will lead you, you can see to the foot motor, which moves out there. This one leads to the head motor actuator. And then we've got one of our massage motor actuators. So the first step we wanna do uh, we'll grab our head one first. Go ahead and about an inch, two inches, just something in that range. I like to start just by perforating around those wires with your largest setting. Once you get that perforated, you can just pull that off and you'll see that you expose four or five different wires. Um, sometimes beds will have a little bit more. Generally speaking, the two larger wires are going to be the ones that we're going to be working with. That's going to be the up and the down wire. Uh, and then the other wires are actually not going to do anything. So we can just bend those aside for now, assuming that it's the two large wires. Ultimately, it can be any color combination. I've seen a lot of different options over the years. Um, the biggest key is that uh, we might have to test them all, but we'll start with one. It doesn't hurt anything, even if you've mixed up the order. So you can go ahead and just, again, start. We'll strip about an inch or, or sorry, about a quarter of an inch just to expose the wires there. I've done these bases before, so I know for a fact that it's the, the blue and the brown wire. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut off my excess wires. 
But again, before you do that on your regular bed, it's not a bad idea to just make sure to test them all before. And then grabbing our conversion kit, the orange is the head up, and the yellow is the foot up. So, oh, sorry, orange is head up, yellow is head down. So because we're grabbing the head motor, um, we're gonna go ahead and slide this in. Again, I know that the brown happens to be the up and the blue happens to be the down. So I'm just gonna put them, make sure they're in all the way. And then you just click down your clips, grab your remote control, which is already paired and which should already have batteries as well, since we do that before we send it. And grabbing the bed frame to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, go ahead and push the head up button. You'll hear the head goes up and then push the foot or the head down button and it layers flat. So just like that, we've already converted it. Just simply repeat the exact same process with the foot motor. Um, one tip too, once you've identified the proper wires for the head, it's gonna be the exact same for the foot. So you just copy the same sequence and you would just simply slide them into the foot chamber. And now for the massage unit, luckily with them, they're even easier because there's no um, up and down. It's just a positive and a negative wire. So there's no right or wrong way of doing it. Go ahead and slide that off. Same thing, just go ahead and cut a quarter inch, expose your wires. The massage units on our conversion kit, you'll have a head and a foot. In this case, because we have three, if you wanted to, you could also cut your middle one and slide it into the same port. But again, there's no right or wrong. You can go black, red, red, black, whatever color it is. Once you just click those on, on our remote, um, this is the head and this is the foot. I don't know which one it is on here, so I'll just push them both right now. And you'll hear the massage motor went on. Um, if you push the clock button, that'll turn everything off. So we know this is the head motor that we successfully grabbed, which is great. If you reversed it, you can just unplug them and plug them into the other one. On our remote, just to show how it works, if you hit the head motor again, it'll turn it to the medium speed. And then one more time, it'll turn it to high. And then you hit it again, it'll turn off. Or on the slow speed, you just hit the clock button, it'll turn off. Um, the clock is a timer, so whenever you just normally turn it on, it'll light up blue, which tells you it'll stay on for 10 minutes. If you wanted it to go for 20 minutes before it turns off, you just hit the clock button before it'll go green, and then you push the head or the foot. Same thing, stop it. If you wanna to go to 30 minutes, you just wait until it's red. So again, the default is just 10 minutes. Um, you don't want to run your motor for too long for extended periods or else it can start to burn that out. The last feature on the remote is this pulse feature. So when your head motor is on or your foot motor is on or both, if you push that one time, it's going to turn it into a two second on, two second off. If you push it one more time, it'll switch it to four seconds on, four seconds off. And then one more time, we'll just turn it back to the standard. And again, you can just turn everything off by hitting that clock button. The presets on the remote, you've got a flashlight up there. This is a one-touch flat. You've got a TV or a zero gravity position. TV lounge just puts you a little bit higher. Zero gravity puts you at your standard. Snore would just have a little less of an incline on your head. And then again, you got head up and down, foot up and down, and then our massage. So it's as easy as that. Um, if you did see this video and were nervous about cutting your wires and plugging it in, on many bed bases, we sell these same converter kits with actual inserts to where you can just simply plug your motor, you just unplug it from your control box, plug it right into our control box unit, and you'll be up and running without any issues. So uh, go ahead and reach out to us if that's a question. You can order these kits on our website, uh, right when you go to bedremotes.com. The first four products show these three different kits and additional remotes that you can buy for them. On the basic two kits, one thing that I like is the remotes are just $30 for extras and you can pair up to three of them at a time with the same base. You could have one remote on each nightstand. Um, if you've bought a box and then later wanted to add a remote, we do have to open it up and push a learn button, but we can walk you through that if you want to do it. On the deluxe and premium models, which are the ones that we sell most, um, you can only program one remote, unfortunately, at a time to the control box but you can buy extra remotes for $70 and just keep them in a nightstand. And we put pairing instructions with every single paper that we sell. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just plug in the base and hold the two buttons on the remote, the head up and the foot up, and they'll start flashing indicating that it's paired. So down the road, you could always have a backup. But uh, we 
we'll keep these in stock forever. So even if down the road, five, six years, you lose or break a remote, just contact us and you can buy a new one on our website or we can direct you to that. Thanks and have a good day.